Hey everyone, so I just got done watching Orphan First Kill on Paramount Plus. Here's my reaction. So this is a prequel to the movie Orphan that came out in the early 2000s. Um, it's, you know, if you know the character Esther, she is a very, very, very disturbed little girl. Even though it's been revealed that she is really not a little girl. She is a adult 30-year-old woman um, that has disturbing thoughts. <laughs> so this one kind of explores not really her childhood. It's like where she came from. So, And there's a little bit more of a twist in this one. Very disturbing twist with this family she's with in this film. Uh, the wife, I don't know the other actors in this, but the wife is played by Julia Stiles and there's something really weird going on with this family um, so it ain't really just Esther in this film that's something we, uh, disturbing is going on but it's a very pretty good twist I'm not going to lie with this family and I'm going to give you a little teeny bit of a minor spoiler but the direction they go with the, the twist with the family kind of has that direction they went with Don't Breathe 2 and Texas Chainsaw 3D which you kind of root for the villain <laughs> in a way in this one not going to say what it is so just a little bit of a minor spoiler um, so this one you can tell the budget is very low it's not as big as budget as the first film was because I think it was in limited theaters but I think it's best just to watch this at home on Paramount Plus if it's playing in your theater it's just better to watch it at home in your, in your, uh, in, in just in your household um, other than that um, they brought this original actress back in this one Is a, I think her name is Isabella Furman if I'm not mistaken she still does a great job but I think they could have did better <laughs> I know it's been all talk on the trailer I made fun of the CGI because all they did technically was just use her face now you know the woman's in her i think the actress is in her 20s now they just use her face and just put it on the look his body looks like it and to me they could have did some kind of de-aging um with the cgi but don't like they really did that at all so other if you look past that it doesn't have this it's, it's not a it's not a bad film it just doesn't have the same thrills and chills that you saw in the first one the first one is a heck of a lot better and to me the prequel wasn't really that needed but it's really nice to see more about this character it's more with this character why what made her more disturbing and more crazier so it's all the this movie's kind of the same as the first film but it would have a very disturbing twist with the family because the first family in the first film uh was nothing you know no kind of disturbing backstory with them so this one really does have that but other than that i don't think it was bad Bad. I'm not sure what the ratings are yet, but I don't think it was a horrible movie. So if you're anxious, if you like this character from the first film, I would definitely check this one out with pretty good twist. Really good twist. Um, but you can tell the low budget it is a low budget movie. So I would give this one a six out of ten. So check it out, guys. It's not bad. Not really that bad. Not bad. Not as bad as Firestar. So <laughs> check it out.